I'm so excited about the Interact Club. You know, we have very special kids at Oak Grove. It's a school for special education and a residential treatment center. And many of our kids have been abused, traumatized, have faced unbelievable challenges in their backgrounds. And to see them come together on this project and learn about Service Above Self and all that Rotary has to offer, it just really, really warms my heart and makes me proud. And they, in record time, picked an international project, had very strict criteria that you'll see a little bit more about in a minute. And, you know, we're very good consumers about wanting the most impact for what they were doing and where. And, you know, we're just so proud of them. And I try to make this kind and clear Just a chance that maybe we'll find better days Cause I don't need boxes wrapped in strings And desire to love and empty things Just a chance that maybe we'll find better days have the vision of what these kids could do in the first place and is the chair and sponsor of our program. And um, Barb, let me ask you, what are you most proud of when you look at the club and what they've accomplished and have gotten, you know, started so far? What, uh, what do you want to brag about? Well, I uh, really admire the kids and I tell them that uh, they're my heroes because um, to come in and be a new Interact Club, we didn't even have our first meeting until like the second week in December, and to come together cohesively as a group and um, decide what they wanted to do, pick an area, set up a criteria, and accomplish it in just record time was to me nothing short of astounding. Barb, I heard that we are the only special education school in the nation, in, in the world. What is that, that that has an Interact Club? Can you talk about that? And what do you think that's meant to our kids as they've heard that? There's no other special ed school in the world that has started an Interact Club, which was so exciting. So I went back to the kids, and as soon as I found that out, I let them know every meeting that uh, they were special, they were, in my opinion, rock stars, and people in the community were, were hearing about this right. club. I tell them that no matter what happens in their life, if they ever doubt anything going on, to come back to the moment that we realized how special this Interact Club um, is and to feel empowered because they have the distinction of saying they were the first club in the world uh, to charter under these circumstances. Our, our, our students are obviously loving the attention that, you know, they, they've been very, very proud of what they've accomplished. Now, two of our students, in addition to being in the Interact Club, actually attended RILA, and I saw such tremendous impact from what they experienced and um, what they learned about leadership. I was wondering if you could just comment on what you see in terms of how Interact, as well as RILA, prepares these kids to be leaders, in spite of the backgrounds that they come from. Um, I think the transformation at RILA to our students that have gone is so profound that's why I personally feel RILA is the most important domestic program that Rotary does. It's, for many um, of these students, the first time that they're feeling empowered, that they're feeling lifted. As, as far as the Interact, um, I guess the best thing would be to describe how the advisor, Miss Sebastian, had phrased it. She said, Barbara, if I could take what I see happen in 45 minutes of Interact once a week, and spread it across the school to every student. Every life would be changed. She said, I had no idea what Rotary is about, and I had no idea that one program could change kids' lives the way that Interact has, and I know they will never be the same after this experience. Like a group of high school kids wouldn't come together on their own.
just to do something like this, or like before I was even involved in this, I would have never thought I was capable of doing something so amazing that could help so many people. I didn't ever think that it was possible. It honestly never crossed my mind. And then a group like this came along that I've also never heard of before. And then it gave me the thought that it doesn't just have to be in school or whatever. Like Rotary Club is a perfect example of like you guys aren't in high school. I mean, you guys all come together for the same reason of wanting to help people. And it's given me an opportunity in the way of knowing that there's something like that out there that I can take advantage of. So I can do something big, not just on my own, but with other people who have the same ideas and the so same yeah. thoughts. I know you were a driving force behind the water well. Can you tell us why you felt this was such an important international project to do? Um, well, when we first sat down as a group and we talked about projects we wanted to do, there was a lot of things that we were talking about. The peanut butter project, um, we talked about getting school supplies for schools and food, but then like, as I thought about it, like, how can you have kids go to school and try to focus or even eat without being able to, you know what I mean? Like, you can go 30 days without eating, but you can only go three days without water. Like, the basis of all life is water. And to be like, to I guess like to start everything like they they started giving us for our water project they started giving us um, the the filters they said we could do because they were cheaper um, the they gave us a few options but like in the end the well was like the one that would outlast them all and that would like help the most people all around. like all these people they didn't even know us and they they like they wanted to help us like. Do, do like and not only helping like the like when we did the well it didn't only help them like I honestly feel like it helped me it helped every all of us like it just feels like it feels really good like to know that their letters were so cute like they told us about their one boy was like oh I have a pet donkey and his name is what was his name I don't remember it was funny. so cute and they drew little pictures and it's just like like it was just I don't know it just brought like a lot of like like, I remember I started crying when I seen the things, but it wasn't because I was sad, it was just because they were so, like, just so happy over the littlest things, and it's just, like, you know, like, things that we take first, like, for granted so easily. It makes, sure makes, you, it makes you so much grateful, like, so much more grateful for every little thing you have, like, the experience to have, just in general, like, just being able to, even though, like, you know, being here, I've had a lot of my own stuff to deal with, it, being able to, like, get out of myself and, like, you know, think about like helping somebody whose situation is, you know, what I mean, is, is is much more difficult than mine. And being able to help them and also help me, and then also having both of uh, my teachers that helped out like a lot with this, because it wouldn't we wouldn't have been able to like, finish all the things. How did that make you feel to know a decision you made affected somebody around the world? That's so um, over my head, you know, just. Even thinking about it, you know, we, you know, when you think about it, you could say, "I could have saved someone life, someone's life," and we might have, we we probably did, to be honest. Um, and just thinking about that is sometimes just like, "Whoa, this is just crazy. This is too much to even think about." So I can't really even explain it in words to you. I mean, I wish I could. But <laughs> I know it's mind-boggling. Yes, it? it really is. I I can't even think about it. Really, it's just. It's um, it's more of an emotion rather than a word. So, how it affects not only like one person, but just like you said, like pay it forward. Like just like you guys donated money to our club, and then we help with the well, and then I'm sure the water's gonna go towards the plants, and then the plants will help feed the people, and it just keeps going and going and going and going. And so, and it's not only you know I mean in different countries, it could be like right next door. So, it was just to say, you guys or the foundation. Anything you do, whatever you set forth, every interact class from here on out is going to build on what you did. And man, you guys set a high bar. Set a high bar. Yeah. You really did. And I think that's awesome because there's such a standard now that anything less is going to they're going to be challenged because you're going to want to do what you did and then some.
you, and I want to thank our Rotary Club, the New Gen Club, Kent DeMuth, Dr. Mike Brown at Oak Grove, who had, you know, the desire to see this on our campus, uh, Jackie and Michelle. You guys are making such an incredible contribution into these kids' lives. So on behalf of the kids at Oak Grove and the future generations that you are all impacting, thank you so much. And the one poor child who saved this world And there's ten million more who probably could If we all just stopped and said a prayer for them